NBA finals are really heating up, aren't they, boys? Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. The way those guys shoot the ball into the hoop is just electrifying. It's impressive. Swish. Swish. And that was how I beat Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Cities are really rallying. I mean, it's getting crazy right now. All of Canada is pulling hard for Toronto. Mm -hmm. And it seems like they have a real chance, especially with all these injuries happening to Golden State. But mm -hmm. my question is this. Kevin Durant, ah. Yes. Clay Thompson, probably. Ah. Looney, ah. Steve Kerr, still there, I think. Yeah, he's bad, bad. Yep. He has a bad back midseason normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now he's back. Is that Golden State team? Good pun. See that? If that Golden State team wins with all those people out, is Toronto still excited about potentially coming back and making a play here? I don't think it's even possible. If you can't beat them like this, what, Steph Curry had, what, a fever or something like that? Clay yeah. was hurt. Mm -hmm. KD was out. Iguodala was hot. That's all Iguodala <laughs> does. <laughs> but that's got to be like, I mean, that has to take some out of you, especially when you got to play them again and again. In football, you have one game, right? So if you lose to a team that has a couple hurt players, like you don't have to sit with it for the next week or the next game. This one, it's got to be like demoralizing. Be like, yo, we just fucking lost to literally their preseason team. Yeah, I mean, if they don't win tonight aka last night yeah there you go when clay is most likely out kd out like you just said and you really only have to well i i, I say you only have to worry about steph but then i forget about they still have draymond and they still have boogie cousins right? and iguodala mm. and iguodala <laughs> oh, and Jesus. fucking sean livingston no. like they, they still have a decent team but like if you this is the night to do it if you don't do it tonight and then you have to play game four in oakland as well i mean and you're down to one I, I if i am a Toronto Raptors fan, I don't have much. Hope okay, so forward. I have a question. Steph Curry hit 21 straight threes the other day in uh, Oracle Arena there, mm -hmm. demolishing the Foxy Challenge of 19 <laughs> straight. Respect. Will he shoot 100 times with Klay Thompson out, or is this just going to be uh, he's going to be getting double teams? It's going to be hard to get him the rock. 200 times. I would if I was him. But we'll let the Pull other up from half court, well, Steph. Go ahead, man. It's what you do. Just do it. I loved what happened between him and Kevin Love, by the way. Mm -hmm. He put a tweet out back from the 2016 Finals Game 7 under a minute. He tried to go around Kevin Love, mm -hmm. but he just kind of lazy did it and put up a shot, and he missed it. They end up losing. Cavaliers win. He said, what I should have done is just go right around Kevin Love easily for a two-point <laughs> shot. <laughs> and Kevin Love responded with a great tweet. He said, easily, which I love Kevin Love. <laughs> Having a little self awareness being like <laughs> absolutely you could have just shook the shit out of me or it's the other way around a lot of people saying that he Sarka. yeah like he was talking shit like he was mad about it i think he was you think he was oh for sure dude kevin loves a great defender and he was d'ing him up on that play i don't think he thinks that steph gets by he him. also seems like a very like he gets triggered guy. Yeah. no he gets triggered online Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. It's been a couple of years, though, since he's been triggered online. I think he's past that. Oh, you think he's mature? Especially since he didn't play at all, really, this season. That's and what no I'm one saying. Knew, yeah, no I mean, I don't know. I just know he used to, at least. You know. Oh, you're saying that history says that Kevin Love was real life triggered. Yeah. yeah, I think his buttons get pushed pretty easily. Really? Yeah. Okay, Love? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did, oh, because he got mad at. Um, Wait, he was at the Minnesota, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was when he was fat, Caleb. So he came out That's of UCLA, great. right? That was great, Caleb. Mm -hmm. He came out of UCLA as a rebounding machine, like yep. board yeah. machine. This guy's going to get 20-plus rebounds at double, night. Double machine. Yeah. Yeah. And then he goes to Minnesota, and then he ends up going to Cleveland. 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 Mm -hmm. And they kind of pushed him out of Minnesota, right? Wasn't it kind of like one of those situations? He wanted out because he was tired of just dominating and have no one to play with. Okay, so he wanted out. So my fault. They didn't push him out. He kind of forced his way out of there. He goes to Cleveland, wins a couple games. But I do remember him getting a little salty about shit that was happening remember, on the internet. It was, it was it a was, dance. It, yeah, it was the dancing one. It was it was the, the only white kid in the thing. Correct. Yeah. And, and they said this is Kevin Love, and he did not get happy. He was not happy about it. Well, he said he got primo box or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's his actual tweet, right? It was yeah. he said he got primo with the emoji of box. And I don't think he was getting triggered by that. I thought it was kind of funny. What if he's just been misunderstood this entire Maybe. time? Ooh, Maybe. What if Caleb is actually a hilarious human? I think he is. Yeah. I mean, yes. he, I, he looks like he'd be a hilarious human. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember seeing him reply not, not to way, I mean, some tweets with like a picture of his championship ring and like a, yeah. So maybe it is. So just what a, if, instead of viewing it as a being triggered, view it as like a being hilarious. I think we got a whole new Kalo all of a sudden. <laughs> a whole new Kalo. I mean, what if we just change his entire PR image right there? Because I do believe a lot of people think he's like a crybaby almost. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a Kevin Durant thing where yeah. people think Kevin Durant's like that. Oh, I internet. think he definitely is. He seems, Kevin definitely seems like it. Which Kevin? Durant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that, though, 100%. I don't think so. I, I don't think Caleb got enough credit with the Cavs. I don't think so either. No, no, he definitely didn't. 
I do. Yeah, you're right. He definitely did not. Because he was making plays for them out there. He Absolutely. was an athlete. And the only thing is he got cold there for a little bit. Remember, yeah. he got real cold because uh-huh. he was a three-point shooter, wasn't he? Yeah. Right. Well, and that's the, like, because he, he played with that. LeBron, he had to basically just stick with, like, shooting baseline threes. Like, he yeah. used to bang in the paint. And, you mm-hmm. know, I mean, that's... Then he got cold and there was starting to be a narrative like, well, if LeBron had any help or like Kevin Love was paid this amount of money, he's an all-star, he's supposed to do I think he kind of got buried in that whole thing whenever he got cold. Three points here, by the way. Next shot's your best shot. You just got to keep throwing them up there. Until yeah, short short memory. We know that. We know that. We, that's what we do. Mm-hmm. I lo- don't personally, but you know that. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do. No, we do that in here all the time. <laughs> We are three-point shooters in here. We yeah. come in here and just put up our shots. That's it. Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, you're going to miss them, but every once in a while, you're going to get pretty hot. Mm-hmm. Which Steph should do tonight. Steph's going to put up a lot of shots, man. I mean, they ran a box and one on on them the end of last game, which I love all, the ex- all the NBA experts are being like, if they try that again with – and you have time to prepare for that in the NBA, you're going to get torched. Right. So, But I'm sure they'll double-team the entire game. Uh, that, 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 that very nice-looking, odd-looking coach of the Raptors ain't going to do it again. He knows. <laughs> Nick, Nick Nurse. Nurse yeah. Nick Nurse knows that you can't just have that be no, sitting no, in the knows. film room for a couple of days. Yeah. They know what they're going to do. Steve Kerr's going to outwit them. Exactly. You know what I mean? I mean, just after the conversation we had with Matt Patricia last week, um, he very much views every game as a chess match. You know what I mean? With the other coach, the yeah. other offense coordinator, their quarterback. You could tell that because he was like, whenever he makes decisions, he thinks about literally what this person did today, what they've done their entire career, and what's potentially on the line for them if they make a decision. That's how he makes a decision. So it's very much like chess. I would assume the NBA coach is doing the same thing. Not that Spolster guy when I watch. He do it, <laughs> but I assume like the pretty good coaches are doing that. There's no way Kawhi stays in Toronto. What if he wins right here? Does he stay in Toronto? Got to, yeah. The uh, entire country is on know. your back. You got to. I was, he gets I, the most money there, you know? Yeah, I know, but I don't, I don't, he doesn't strike me as a guy guy that necessarily cares that much about getting 30 more mil to stay oh, in Toronto. So much money. Like, so much money. 50 million more. I remember right? what, yeah. I, I remember a year ago and I'll say it, like I fucking, we, I think a lot of us did. We called it the Raptors idiots because they signed, they traded to Rosen for Kawhi who you only were guaranteed a year. Mm-hmm. But I mean, does getting to the finals and possibly winning it pay off just for one year? Yeah, I think so. For what, sure. if, what, I, if, what if I told you that Kawhi Leonard recently purchased property <laughs> in Toronto. And plus, the Canadian chew on that one for a more, minute, right? They said two sources confirmed. <laughs> chew on that, boys. What the property? Yeah, two sources. What two real estate agents? Two different sources. They didn't say who, but I'm assuming somebody has real estate agent to and property stuff. owner. Yeah. Yeah. Said, oh, yeah, fucking Kawhi's buying shit from us. Who gives a <laughs> but, like, maybe shit? He's that don't matter, Ty? No. I mean, Pat, as a professional athlete, um, people you, love Toronto, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Would you just be tired of fucking six. moving from city to city year and year? I mean, I don't after like this, moving. This next one, it will be his, I'm sure he'll be there for five years because we'll get a max deal or whatever. But personally, I don't enjoy moving, I don't love it. Uh, when my I was going up for contract, I was gonna, I, I was very open. I was like, well, I'm either gonna get a deal with the Colts or um, I'm probably gonna retire or at least take a break for a little mm-hmm. bit because I didn't want to move and I liked my mm-hmm. connections and network I had here in Indianapolis. I had built up a good friend group, a good network business wise. I had a good situation going. So I don't know if that's how Kawhi is though, because he just got here a year ago. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like, would he? Why would he buy this property? He fall that in love with Toronto in one year that he's like, well, be- I always I, want to be able to come people back. People say home. Toronto people is say. the place. Well, so it could be, could be a vacation home. Yeah, he's, yes, he's a quiet guy too. I could see him just wanting to get away, like train up there. Maybe he's built a good relationship with the. I mean, because he's playing very good ball right now. I mean, yeah, all the just- all the that that guy that's sitting at the end, um, not uh, the yeah. owner, the car dealership owner guy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um I forget his name. He went viral. You get it who he is. I assume he wants to do business with Kawhi Leonard. I assume everybody in Toronto who loves Kawhi Leonard for what he's brought to the city. I mean, if they win here, I don't know how you leave. I have no idea how you leave, especially you especially as Kawhi, as a guy who's like a nice guy. He seems like he's a nice guy. He's a quiet guy. Doesn't want to get into drama. If you leave a city after bringing them a, a title and they can offer you $50 million more dollars and you're beloved by that place... I think it's very tough to leave. I think that is very, very. Why difficult. can they offer him more money? Is that uh, just the way the NBA contracts yeah. are yeah. structured? Yeah. Because it's, okay, so it, it gives the player incentive to stay with the team they are. With. But are the tax rates in Canada higher? Um, I, I assume the taxes are higher. I think they are, but I don't know how much it's going to crush you for fifty million. L.A. is probably pretty similar. I had to guess. Yeah, crush you. Yeah, I would assume that because like not the, the, same. the Clippers are his other rumored team, and so California taxes gotcha. are fucking. Imagine doing his yeah, taxes. Pretty crazy. Ooh. He doesn't want to be in the Western Conference either. 
You dominate yeah, the East. You stay at the Raptors, and you go to. the He could finals probably recruit again. people to Toronto, exactly. by the way. If he's there, he probably recruit some people mm-hmm. there. Maybe not like super superstars, but I'm sure he can get two, three other good players to stay with him that he has now, yeah. or bring in a couple other guys. I mean, that'd be Russell Westbrook. What if they get Westbrook Ooh. in a couple of years up to Toronto? It'd be that'd, incredible. He could get Kemba next year, maybe. That would also be incredible. Yeah. Kemba's still playing basketball good? Oh, still oh, yeah. still oh, great yeah. at it. Oh, yeah. Man, he was good. so good that one March there for Utah. Every March. Yeah. Every March. Oh, my God. He was so good at this, basketball. This year when Charlotte <laughs> came into March, they like won like 12 in a row just because Kemba in March is, is absurd. That'd be awesome to get him on a team that's good so I can see him again. Yeah. He was a fun player to watch. Mm-hmm. He was Not just, a lot of Charlotte Hornet, Hornet games. I don't think they play here in Indy. <laughs> no. I don't think the Charlotte Hornets. I don't, do they play on TV anywhere? No. They don't let them on Rarely. TV. No. Yeah, I'm I think they're like no. the Flint Tropics. Are they I didn't know they were still a team. Are they I in swear. the NBA? <laughs> I, I, honestly, I honestly thought there was a chance maybe they had to play for fourth place and stay in the league. Because <laughs> well, for a while they were the Bobcats. Yeah, exactly. And then they switched back. Oh, shit. And I'm sure their fan base is awesome. We probably have a lot of people that listen that are good for you. I'm just telling you out here in America, we've never seen a single game of theirs. I have not seen. And I don't even know. Did any of them even make the All-Star game? Like, I thought they had rules that every a player from every team had to make it. I don't even think I saw a Hornets player at the All-Star game other than Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jordan owns the thing. I assume Kemba made it. Bad, Kemba made it. Bad owner, too, by the way. Yeah, I said it, Mike. I said it. They were oh, ninth, he's listening. They ball. were ninth in the East this year. Yeah. So, what are you, eight Almost. To, oh, you got to be eight to make yep. the playoffs. I would have seen them. Here's a um, – this has been floating around NBA. Um, they're thinking about doing for the last spot, for the eighth seed in both, in both conferences, doing an eight-team – Tournament um, at I the like end of the it. season. Oh, I'm all in. Love to see yes. mm-hmm. who gets the eight single seed. elimination. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That'd be awesome. I so, loved it. So it's not it's not for the eighth seed. It'll be for the bubble seed, is what they'll call it. They won't call. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, not yeah. technically eighth. You're just mm-hmm. the eighth because you're the eighth team mm-hmm. in. It'll be a bubble. That's awesome. I yeah. love that. You got March Madness now. All of a sudden, do it just like March Madness mm-hmm. too. Have games go through the mm-hmm. day. Yeah. Have it knocked out. Oh, that's brilliant. They should do that. And then it also gives the one through seven seed. One through seven seeds in each conference, a little bit more rest, like two or three more days more rest before the actual playoffs. Hey, you earned it, boys. Yeah. Yep. 